Hi guys, it's Angelia. How's everybody doing today? I hope you guys are all doing good. I'm doing pretty good. I thought I would come up here and uh, do a video because I wanted to get up here and show you guys some awesome happy mail that I got from a wonderful uh, friend that sent this to me. Her name's Ann. But I wanted to uh, get up here and share this with y'all, but I had to come inside and do it because it started raining on me, which I'm not going to complain about that because I've been hoping it would rain because I've got a lot of stuff I water outside between my vegetable gardens. I got two of them and then I've got uh, my flower beds and then I've been trying to grow grass seed since spring and it's I'm having the hardest time with that. I've spent so much money on seed and everything. I just think it's my soil here, the soil because of the pine trees maybe. I don't know. I mean I don't have pines right directly in the front but they're close enough maybe it has something to do with that. I don't know. But anyway, <laughs> but I'm thankful for the rain. I'm glad of that. But I'm coming at you in a different room because the lighting is better in here. And my craft room is a little bit darker. So I just thought I'd come in here. But anyhow, I want to get up here and show you guys this awesome happy mail that I got. And like I said, it's from a sweet, sweet lady. Her name is Ann. And she had emailed me and asked me if I'd be interested in this one book. And so she sent it to me, but she didn't only send me that. She sent me something else, all some other things. And I'm going to save the best for last. It's all awesome. But the best for me was the last. I mean, I, I will cherish all of this for the rest of my life. And it, that last thing, yeah, I'll show you here in a minute. <laughs> but anyway, uh, she wanted to know if I was interested in this book. And it is an Amigurumi book. And I'm gonna, hopefully I can say this name right. It's Animal Friends of pick a or pick a -poo. I don't know. I'm not good at pronouncing words. <laughs> but anyway, there it is. And I have been eyeballing this book before. And I think Marsha from uh, Made by Marsha's Mom might have showed it on her channel. I think. But anyway, it's got some of the cutest patterns in here. And I cannot wait to make them. There is the little monkey. That's one of them right there that I definitely want to get started on. But there is a fox. I love the fox. I love them all. I love amigurumis. They're my favorite. Well, I should have marked the pages, I guess. But here we go. There's the fox. And let me see if I can find the uh, the little the little monkey. <laughs> He's so cute. Oh, yep, there he is. The little monkey. <laughs> oh, like I said, there is so. Many cute ones in here. Look at this bird. He's so cute. <laughs> There's another one in here. And you guys know, I love elephants. They're my favorite. If I can own uh, an animal, it would be, you know, an exotic animal. It would be an elephant. There he is. <laughs> Isn't he sweet? Oh my goodness. I can't wait to make him. But anyway, I love this book, and I will cherish this book for the rest of my life. Yep, I love this book. So, but not only did she send me this, oh my goodness. <laughs> like I said, I boohooed the whole time, and my husband saw me, and he's like, what are you crying for? And I said, because what is in here, you're not going to, you're not going to understand. <laughs> he probably would if it was tools or something, but, but anyway. She sent me three cakes. Of this right here and it is Caron cotton ripple cakes I've never used this before and I was so excited and look at that color I believe the color is meadow and it is 100% cotton and it's got it's number three light and it's got 491 yards and like I said she sent three of those to me I mean wow look at that color and I cannot wait to make something with this. It's got a pattern of a shawl on the side of it. And I think it said it takes maybe one to make that. No, two. But I'm going to find something really special to make with these. I'm excited. And I've, like I said, I've never had this kind before. So, super excited. And then she sent me another pattern that was a leaflet of a button-up crochet top. So, you know, I'm going to attempt that. <laughs> I'm still working on my cardigan. All I like on it is a sleeve and two pockets, but I started feeling extremely tired working on it, and I just put it down. But 
I'm going to conjure up the energy to get it done. But anyway, she sent me that. I thought that was so sweet. I'll put that over there so it won't get bent. Okay, then she sent me some beautiful uh, cotton, and it's called Hipster Cotton. And you guys know how I love the uh, tie-dye stuff. I am. I'm a hippie girl at heart. <laughs> so anyway, it always makes me happy, those colors. But this is what she sent me, and it's called Hipster Cotton. Isn't it beautiful? Look at the colors on that. They're gorgeous. And it's got 229 yards and 100% cotton, and it is a lightweight three. And it is called Tropical Dream. And I can see how it's a dream. It's beautiful. So excited about it, and I can't wait to make something with it. Ah, oh, it's so soft, too. <laughs> okay, now this other one, I've never seen it before, and I was totally blown away with it because I'm like, wow, I've never seen anything like this before. I don't even know if I've even heard of it before. But it's called, it's uh, Premier, and that last one was Premier, too. And it's a chameleon, and it changes, it's a color changes in the sunlight. Look at that. I don't know if it'll try it now, but it does because I've tried it and it's so cool. And I cannot wait to make something with this. I, she sent me four of them and it's number three lightweight. And let's see, I think it's got, well, let me look here. It's got 229 yards in it. So that's enough to make something pretty good with it. So I'm anxious to see what I can make with that. I may just try it and then watch it change the colors. <laughs> oh my goodness. Brings out the kid in me. I can't wait to do that. So excited. And then she sent me this because she was talking about the fox in the uh, Amigurumi book that this would be a good color for it. And you are correct. That is just a perfect color to make that fox. And add the, the white to it. can't remember what color she said. She mentioned a color when she was... Uh, texting or emailing me and so I thought I can't wait to try it but I love this yarn it is so soft all this yarn is so soft okay like I said I saved the other one to the last because it you know they always say save the best for last I guess <laughs> all of this is the best but let me tell you what she did for me totally blew my mind and it made me cry because I this will be my very first crochet wearable that anybody's ever made me. And I'm going to try not to cry, but I, it made me cry. And it's beautiful. Look at this. She made me a shawl, guys. Look how gorgeous this is. Now, look at the colors. Isn't it beautiful? Oh, I love it. And like I said, I've I've got a hippie in me, <laughs> in my blood. <laughs> oh, it's so beautiful. Oh, I love it. I will show you guys a picture of it. I'll insert it right here of what it looks like with it on. But it is absolutely gorgeous. I cannot wait to wear it. I'm going to try to put it on without knocking everything down. But I cannot wait to wear it this fall and this winter. It is perfect. Look at the stitching in it, how perfect it is. And this is the... Granny meets virus shawl, I believe is what she said. And it was, uh, she got it off of fi uh, fiber spider. <laughs> but look at that. And I've been eyeballing wanting to make one and I just never gotten around to it. But look at this. That I know this is um, the mandala happy and it definitely makes me happy. It is gorgeous. And Anne, you did such beautiful work on this. I mean, it's beautiful. I absolutely love it, and I will cherish this the rest of my life. I will sit in there in my uh, recliner, and I will wear this during the fall and winter whenever I'm in there working on something or when I'm outside doing something. <laughs> I love it, and I thank you so much from the bottom of my heart for that, for all of this. That was so sweet of you to do that. I'm going to try not to cry. <laughs> but anyway, I love this, and it's perfect, and that was sweet of you. Okay, well, I guess I'm going to hop off here before I start boohooing. <laughs> I'm going to try to do, um, I've got another video I'm wanting to do. I actually couldn't load up all my flower pictures on that last video because I ran out of room. So I'm going to try to load up the rest of them. These were pictures I took 
right whatever that you know at the end of spring so to me they always look the prettiest then <laughs> then when it starts getting hot it everything kind of starts you know and the way i've been feeling i haven't been fully energized to be able to mess with them as much but when i do i get out there but anyway uh, i want to try to do another video of that of my finished objects that i've got i don't know i'll be doing some videos <laughs> But anyway, I want to say thank you again, Ian. I absolutely love it. I love everything. It's all, it's just, like I said, a beautiful, beautiful, awesome, happy mail from a beautiful person. And I thank you, Ian. Anyway, I'm going to hop off of here. And I hope you guys all have a wonderful, blessed day. And I will be chatting at you guys real soon. <laughs>